Soldiers conduct spot checks on the streets of Srinagar, the main city of Indian administered Kashmir. There is increased security in the region after gunmen killed seven civilians, including minority Hindus, in one week, something that hasn't happened in years. It has, however, led to an all too familiar event the detention of hundreds of people accused of having links to banned Muslim organizations. It is the duty of security forces to instill confidence among minorities that they are safe in Kashmir. As far as the arrests are concerned, those who have been detained have a criminal record or links to militants. The government wants to make clear that no such thing will be tolerated. As funerals were held last week, a group called the Resistance Front released statements taking responsibility for the killings of three Hindus, three Muslims and a Sikh. The victims include a school principal, a teacher, a taxi driver and well-known pharmacist Makanlal Bindru. The attack on Bindru is on the entire society and on every Kashmiri. He always used to help poor people. It's very heartbreaking. What wrong had he done to anyone? How can you justify his killing or if the street vendor killed in the separate attack? The resistance front said it was targeting government informers or agents of the Hindu nationalist organization, the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh or RSS. The resistance front was formed after the Indian government revoked Kashmir's autonomy in August 2019. I think it's just the fact that the normalcy that was being said that the normalcy has returned in Kashmir post August 9, 2019 is not really a fact. The militancy has still been there and it is largely, I think, growing. Last week's killings have led to protests by Hindus and Sikhs in Srinagar and other Indian cities. Of the 28 civilians killed by separatist rebels in Indian-administered Kashmir this year, 21 were Muslims. But the worst violence by rebels against the region's minorities in years has seen some Hindus leaving the Kashmir Valley and going to the Hindu-majority Jammu region out of concern for their safety. While Muslims fear being wrongfully accused and detained, something that human rights organizations say is common in Indian-administered Kashmir. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.